Hello, this is Tam. This is the moment uh, we've been waiting for a while. This here is the new Panasonic GH5 with amazing 4K video quality, amazing codecs and a bunch of improvements, better sensitivity, uh, full frame or four third sensor, uh, 4K 60p, along with 400 megabits per second recording. Um, so we've actually had some trouble getting this because we didn't get on, um, you know, we didn't order this right away. Uh, but finally, here we go, late May. This is the box, this is the thing here. Uh, comes in, well, I guess these are the optional accessories. The battery grip, uh, XLR microphone adapters, some stereo shotgun dedicated, flash shutter release, battery, charger, AC adapter, uh, some DC coupler for the AC adapter and mount adapter. I'm not sure for which lenses this is. Okay, let's open this up. Uh, very nice box, uh, as it should be for a $2,000 camera. So this year there was some talk that this Panasonic isn't, uh, you know, that the 4 third sensor should be a bit cheaper, but they do pack a lot of features into this. So you got your standard instruction set, some quick guide for 6K, 4K photo, whatever that is. Micro Four Thirds uh, lens lineup. Okay, interesting. Here we go. Okay, move that aside. This is how we open it. Okay, where's the camera? I think I turned it on already. So here is the camera. Prince Bank and New GH5. Here we go. Let's look at the sensor. Okay. Very nice. Okay. The body does seem a little different. A little wider, I want to say. This may be a little bigger. Okay. I'm actually recording this with the GH4, so I wish could show you these side by side and uh, I think we will in later videos uh, but yeah this doesn't seem like a small camera definitely is bigger than the Sony a7 series um, so uh, hopefully you know this just has the features you want and with the improved firmware hopefully the autofocus uh, gets improved as well I see that there's also an improved joystick autofocus selector and better place that's good Thumb wheel, well, it feels good. These buttons feel good. Uh, I think it takes the same battery, about the same size. Um, got a mounting thread. Let's see, full HDMI. That's nice. And then USB-C type connection here. That's amazing. So over here we got some headphones for monitoring audio. Okay. And then microphone port in similar place. That's good. Obviously the screen flips out. Ah, another drawback. I wish this actually went down further, but that's fine. Because you can always flip it this way. Okay. Got your sensor for the viewfinder. Dual microphone. Okay, these feel nice. Okay, what else we got in here? Um, Got the strap. Okay. Got the power cable. Uh, we got a port protection thing. Okay. And then we got the charger and the battery. And a USB C type cable. Okay. You can actually use this on my phone. Uh, charger, battery. Let me see how this works. I'm interested in this. Okay, so we open this up. It's a dual mount, okay. Now I'm curious if this works with all the cables or just some of the cables. Okay, I guess you just screw that in and you feed the cable through here, okay. So it does provide some bump protection. And this feels actually like it sits solid. You can still use the screen. 
okay? Although it is blacked a bit. But yeah, this is interesting, okay? I'm gonna flip this up. Okay. Now if we wanna take this off. You got your standard modes. And same standard modes here. We got the P for professional or priority, aperture, shutter, manual, video, custom settings. These are some Panasonic enhanced color settings, intelligent auto. Okay, and the focus you got AFS, AFC, and manual focus. This here is similar. You can assign some function buttons as well. So, ergonomically, yeah, this handles very well. Yeah. All right, let's check it out with the cage. Okay, so here we have a Promedia Gear Universal uh, Video Cage for DSLRs or mirrorless cameras. Okay, I'm just gonna show you quickly how to use it, okay? Now we do have two, point, two points of attachment, one on the bottom, one on the top. So it can grab a special adapter on a cold shoe to improve rigidity. Um, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, obviously. Okay, so to mount this in, we notice it's too small. So what we can do, we can actually extend it. Make it a little taller, okay? So now I can slip in. Okay, so this is how we attach it to our video cage. You align the screw. Tighten it. Now you wanna make it even with the plate. So before you finalize it, here we go. Now there's a way to adjust this in and out for better placement. You can always slide it in or out. I prefer to use this as a handle here. Okay. So you can tighten it. Now if you want, of course, you can slide it all the way in. Okay. Now and on this here, we have a NATO rail or Picatinny rail. You can put some cold shoes or adapters on here as well or directly into these threads. Okay. So we use this as a handle. You have a top handle here. And the top handle is adjustable as well on another NATO rail. You can move the rail to the front or back and you can adjust the handle this way. Alternatively, you can also mount the handle this way if you wish. You just have to rotate the clamp, okay? Because right now it attaches like this. But if you rotate the clamp, you can attach this way. Uh, there's also enough room to install the GH5 cable protection here as well. And uh, obviously you can use your LCD, doesn't black it. Um, it's a lightweight aluminum alloy construction made in USA. And uh, take a look here, on this handle here we have a port multiplier. So this typically works better when you install it in the front. You can move this uh, port multiplier to this side as well to this side here you can move this to this side as well so then here you can install lights microphones or whatnots okay so we could do this and then if you'd like you can actually move this to the to the front why don't I just demonstrate this you can take this apart And then you would just attach this to the front, okay? So, um, just need the screw here, okay? So here it is, a video cage by Promedia Gear for the new GH5 camera. And this can go up and down, okay? One other thing I wanted to show you is this works directly with our strap. We have a strap port, so it locks into the camera. Again, we have a push button attachment system. Okay. This works on the same principle as compression hoses. So it just locks in to the receptacle on the plate. We have many plates available, custom plates as well. There we go. Thanks for watching.